friends, it is a beautiful day and I feel like cooking outside today. We're gonna head over and pick up our black stone griddle out of our picnic area, take it up to the house and start cooking something good. Let's head over there and pick it up. All right, so this is our camp style black stone griddle that we got here. We've used this thing several times and I've never really taken very good care of it. Now the season's here, we actually wanna move this up to the house and use it a lot. This way I don't have to cook inside the house and make it even hotter, but as you can see, it is not very clean. So I need to take this up to the house and properly clean it and season it and take care of it so that I can use it all year long. So this one is a 15 to 17 inch. I'm not exactly sure which one it was, but this is awesome for camping. So if this is something you definitely wanna get, I will go ahead and leave the link in our description and in the comment section of where you can get this. So let's go ahead and take it up. All right, so I got the griddle here. We took it off of the base and I'm gonna use the scraper and I'm gonna take off all the rust and debris that I can first before I go through and try to scrub off all the rust. mostly all cleaned off and I got rid of all the rust. Now I'm going to use uh, my sponge here and some Dawn dish soap and I'm going to scrub it and get all of the rust off with that. All right, so I got it all scrubbed. Now let's rinse it off and see how it looks. All right, so I found this cleaning kit and it comes with the pumice stone, the scraper, and also, also a scrub brush. This will be used when I go to maintain it. I am gonna utilize the pumice stone right now and continue to scrub any more of the rust that's on there that didn't come off with just the Dawn dish soap. So I'm gonna use this right now. I'll go ahead and link this in my description and also in the comment section of how you can get it if you would like one of these. I also got these convenient little squirt bottles. This one I have full of water and this one I have full of oil. So when I go to season it, I will have my oil. All right, friends, so I've got it all cleaned up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and attach the propane tank and get this heated up to nice and hot and then we'll start seasoning it with some oil. Okay, so all the water has been dried off of the Blackstone with the heat. So now you can add your oil you can use your regular cooking oil or you can use the Blackstone griddle oil conditioning. And this is a two-in-one and this is great for your Blackstone griddle. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this right now to re-season the griddle. You do not need a lot of oil for this. All right, so this has been one treatment. We're gonna do this about five times. So I'm just gonna keep adding a little bit more oil, wipe it completely off, let it soak in, and then repeat the process again. seasoning and I'm going to go ahead and use the cooking oil for this last one. All right, I've got it all seasoned and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and start cooking some breakfast. Let me go grab everything and I'll show you what we're going to cook.
this down with a little bit more oil wiped it completely off to make sure it's well and clean and now we're gonna go ahead and eat our breakfast for dinner all right friends thanks for hanging out with me today as we get our griddle ready for summer I am planning on doing a lot of outdoor cooking on that griddle this summer so I will go ahead and drop a link to all the products that I had there down in the description as well as in the comment section so until next time friends don't forget to like subscribe share with your friends and family as always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.